thinking about adding a one-up um, character that like falls from the top of the screen on my uh, JavaScript Invaders game so that when it collides with the player's uh, spaceship down at the bottom, it'll give me another life. So um, there's some things that I've been using for making these games lately that I th thought I wanted to show you. Um, and so what I wanted to show you here was this thing called Sprite Sheet GPT. Um, Sprite Sheet GPT is um, it's a custom GPT. So um, you can find it at ChatGPT. Um, and if you go into the area that's um, it's called Explore GPTs, you can actually find all kinds of awesome things in here um, that people have made. Um, but I'm specifically looking for this one called Sprite Sheet GPT, which um, I've been using to, to make like little characters for games and stuff like that. So um, what I want to do is just create a quick prompt here um, in Sprite Sheet GPT to say um, create a sprite or a character in a 1980s style retro game like Galaga or Space Invaders that says one up. Um, Let's just start with that, see how good I can get. Um, you know, sometimes you have to like ask the LLM to try a few times, but basically Sprite Sheet GPT just uses Dolly to generate the images, but it's most likely got some creative prompting and stuff. Um, so this one won't quite work uh, because it's spelled one up wrong. So um, anyway, let's try again. Um, let's try again. Please one that says one up. This I like the style. Uh, do not include any other words. Okay, so now let's see how that goes. <clears throat> Okay, so now we've got another one. This one looks a little better. It's kind of funky, but um, let's say I like this one. Can you make it, please make it look kind of like a spaceship? Okay, let's see. Try one more. So you just kind of play around with it until you find some sprites that you like for your video game. Really, I mean, that's you can make full-on game assets in here um, that are like sprite-based assets. Okay, this works for me. All right, so then we're gonna download it. Okay, the next step is I'm gonna pull it into a tool like Snagit is what I'm using, Snagit Editor. Um, which comes with Snagit, which is a screenshot tool for Windows. Um, but you could use like Photoshop, GIMP, like all kinds of tools. Um, but basically what you want to do, the next step here, is you want to make a transparent background. So I'm going to use the Flood Fill tool and fill it with a transparent, that's what that checkered look kind of is. And basically take out all that extra gunk. Um, so that it kind of looks more like, um, so that it will work on a on a background. And here I'll kind of show you. Um, you can set the canvas color of this, so you can see what it might look like on, let's say, a purple background, right? Um, so now you can see the spaceship says one up on a purple background. It's not perfect, but hey, it's a video game that I made in JavaScript in like a day. So, okay. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna also kind of shave this down to a smaller size, maybe like 50 pixels. Um, 
The reason is is that in the game, you remember that stuff is like tiny, so um, you know it's not like a massively amplified video game with like high def graphics. It's actually a lo-fi kind of game, so that's why it's that small. But it should look pretty good when it's in the game board. So later on, I'll add it to the game, and you can play it with the one up. And what it'll do is it'll give you an additional life whenever you collide with the crazy spaceship that's going down. All right? Thanks. Bye. All right. So now what we're going to do is ask um, ChatGPT to do this work for us. So I would say I would like to add a character in the game. And um, that is a one up. Gives the player one life and they collide. Randomly. Once every 30 to 60 seconds. When the player collides with the one up, they get an additional life. The file name or the sprite is Space Invaders One Up dot ping. Here it's the code. Alright, hopefully it doesn't mess it up. Oh, come on. AI is like a VHS tape stuck in a rewinder. Sometimes it just needs a little nudge and a firm tap on the side. We're still tinkering in the retro lab, folks. While some of us are born genius, others need a little extra programming love, so let's keep the neon lights flashing. Come on, ChatGPT, bro. Hey, you're done. You gave me the whole thing. All right. He's bored. Okay. Okay, I can still control it. Hey, there it is. What happens? Oh, it worked. Okay. <laughs>